Hey everybody, this is Keith Kane. Welcome to another Stranded Deep survival tutorial. Today we're going to cover building. And um, there have been some recent updates that have changed the way the building mechanics work. And uh, in the release notes, um, the developers indicate that there will be some more changes coming over time such that um, you will need to uh, maintain your buildings or they will degrade over time. I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know specifically what that's going to look like, but <clears throat> I think the intent is to uh, give the player a reason to choose, you know, corrugated scrap, for example, uh, over driftwood, um, that it may last longer. Uh, but today we'll just get started with some simple examples to show you how to uh, build these structures. Um, I've been fond of building just a simple elevated hut uh, where I can hang out and uh, some of these storage containers that you've probably seen in some of my videos. So today we're going to build one of those since it will illustrate uh, all of the major steps in, in building any type of structure you desire. So the first thing we've got to do uh, is we've got to craft ourselves a crude hammer. And you can see here we need one, one stick, one lashing, and two rocks. Uh, I must be just out of range of my rocks, so let me go grab two of those. My pile is starting to dwindle a little bit. We may need to go on an excursion soon and grab some of those, some more. Good news is they're plentiful on just about every island that's out there. All right, so again, we'll craft that hammer and we'll go ahead and drop that, and then we'll equip it. All right, and you will see that there is a hammer over here too. I'll explain that in just a second. So if you go to your crafting menu, and you may, may come up here on crafting, if you navigate over to buildings, you'll see there are foundations of various material types, floors. There are wedge foundations now, uh, give you a little more creativity in terms of what your structure will look like. Now it will lay out wedge floors walls of all different types, including the half walls that we'll make use of. Windows, arches or doorways, right, of all the various types, different types of doors and different types of steps. All right, and you can see uh, in my hut here, we've got steps, we've got these foundations, I've got a variety of full walls and uh, windows, and then the roof here is actually a floor because um, it could be a floor to a second story so uh, the foundation is something you put walls on and then you could put a floor on the top of the, the walls just to give you an example so let's go ahead and build I'm gonna build another one of my little storage uh, containers here or uh, contraptions so you go to crafting and we're gonna choose foundations and I've got lots of uh, sticks, if you can see it. So we'll create a wood foundation. And I think ideally we put it right here. Okay, and then you're just gonna click your left mouse button to build it. Now, you'll see this and you'll say, um, I don't know what's going on here. This, this isn't what I was looking for. Well, you actually have to hammer on it with your left mouse button. See, and then it'll start to fill in. It will take a little while. And the further you go with it, I presume the more durability it has. And that seems to be, although it'll let you hammer seemingly endlessly, uh, it doesn't seem to do any further improvement after those two steps. Now, uh, let's go ahead and build some of these half walls so we can also show you how that works. This would be true of any type of wall. And these are great because they only take two, only require two um, sticks. Oh, this is going to be a, there we go. Okay, so it just kind of puts the frame in, which is interesting. All right, now that one. And lastly, This one. All right now, one thing I want to show you. I'm going to, I'm going to put this hammer down. 
Uh, since the last major update, you may have uh, a hammer hanging around and attempting to follow these instructions, find that there's nothing you can do with it. Um, any hammer that you had prior to this, up, this update that introduced these new building mechanics uh, won't, um, won't actually work. So you've got to craft a new one after the update. Uh, and then it will work uh, pretty easily. So here we see as we hammer on the wall, it'll fill in once. And the second time seems to complete the process. Same thing here. So far I've only tried this uh, with wood and driftwood, but presumably the other materials will work in the same fashion where you'll get a frame and then you'll have to fill it in. Now I haven't noticed that it consumes any additional material, it just consumes some of your time. Uh, and these mallets do wear out after a while and you have to replace them. But uh, that's pretty much it for the build mechanics. I think I may throw a stair in here. This is kind of an annoying interface right here. Um, I haven't found a way or a key to navigate this. You have to scroll through it with your mouse. Um, oh, we don't seem to have half steps anymore. Well, uh, let's see. I guess I can do that. I mean, it's not the way I wanted to use my resources, but this will work. All right, so now I've got another storage container. Um, I'm going to drop some rocks in here and get a little organized. All right, now you can see I've got my uh, my rocks and my lashings. Uh, pretty much, I'll keep these here. Uh, I find two, you know, two things that you can stack up, two resources you can stack up per little container works best. Um, one thing I did find on other islands uh, with this update is you you can come across these wooden crates now and you actually can pick them up and carry them in your inventory um, but they don't hold a heck of a lot. I've found in general you, know, you can stack four of an item in here if you have that many. Um, the most as you can see here is that, that I've been able to get into one of these crates is three of a particular item. Uh, but still, it's better than nothing, and maybe we'll see more storage along the way. So that's it today for this uh, build tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, um, please like the video, consider subscribing, and drop me a comment. I always love to uh, read the comments, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks a lot.